Here's the amazing Conqueror British tank. You see the drive sprocket. There's the um, road wheels and track. Front idler. There's that enormous turret. I think she weighed in at about 70 tons. There's the uh, bore evacuator for the gases. FV 214. Conquer Mark II armament, one 120 millimeter gun, two three inch, uh, point three inch machine guns, crew of four, length of gun, uh, thirty eight feet, width thirteen feet, height eleven feet, armor, um, seventeen to 178 millimeters probably on the glacis for the thickest part engine 800 bhp petrol range 95 miles that's pretty good speed about 21 miles per hour country of origin the united kingdom so I have this image here um and I have this image here of the Conqueror, Conqueror Mark One. So I have two different Conquerors here. I just realized that right now. <laughs> uh, incidentally, uh, oops, uh, just a moment, getting organized here. Um, here's the Conqueror Mark One with the gun. In reverse position. See, because here's the drive sprocket, here's the idler, and there's the front of the tank. So for some reason they totally turn it around. If you look closely on the glacis plate where it, the um, mantlet joins up, this sort of like a hinge here, circular hinge. And um, I see that here. I propose this on the Mark One. And uh, to backtrack a little bit here on the Mark II, it doesn't quite have that. It has something different. See, it has just a flush. It appears to be a flush joint connection between the glacis component and the gun. Oh, pardon me. Um, I guess it's a mantlet, not glacis. Well, that has been a heavy tank production.